Now we're going to talk about how the autonomic nervous system is organized in the body. Well, there are, uh, there are different chemical messengers. Uh, we talked about uh, 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 epinephrine or adrenaline uh, as the chemical messenger of the sympathetic adrenergic system. Norepinephrine, as I just mentioned, or noradrenaline, which is like adrenaline's father in the catecholamine family, uh, is the main neurotransmitter of the sympathetic nervous system responsible for uh, cardiovascular regulation. And from now on, when I say SNS, I'm not talking about sympathetic nervous system anymore. I'm going to be talking about sympathetic noradrenergic system. And there's a third chemical messenger the, uh, uh, of the sympathetic cholinergic system where acetylcholine is the chemical messenger. So there are three chemical messengers in the sympathetic, uh, sympathetic nervous system. And here's, I'm beginning to get at how this, this is uh, organized in the body. The, <clears throat> the, uh, the sympathetic uh, nerves uh, are mainly post-ganglionic, post-ganglionic. And you, now you know what post-ganglionic means. That means wispy, small, uh, slow-conducting fibers. With one exception, uh, which is the supply to the adrenal medulla. The nerve that's going uh, to the adrenal medulla splanchnic nerve goes through the ganglia without synapsing. That means that uh, the adrenal medulla is, is receiving myelinated, rapidly conducting uh, uh, fibers. And teleologically, that kind of makes sense uh, in a fight or flight kind of situation. By the way, Cannon introduced that phrase, fight or flight. Uh, in a fight or flight situation, you want to react fast. So you want that hormone released rapidly. And teleologically, it's, it's kind of fun to think about uh, the advantage of having a myelinated uh, innervation of the adrenal medulla. This is uh, an overview of the sympathetic noradrenergic system. Uh, Norepinephrine is the chemical messenger that's released. Uh, it binds to specific receptors, which we'll get into, called uh, alpha and beta. Uh, uh, the uh, sweat glands receive uh, alpha, uh, have alpha uh, adrenoceptors on their, their uh, postganglionic sympathetic nerves. And there's, uh, there are both alpha and beta receptors in uh, other, other organs, uh, including the heart. So as I mentioned, uh, now we're going to get into what the chemical messengers are that correspond to these five components. Eventually, as you'll see, this is going to be key for a kind of a systematic approach to a patient who's got a, uh, a dysautonomia. Adrenaline or epinephrine is the chemical messenger of the sympathetic adrenergic system. And uh, this is kind of an overview. Uh, adrenaline is a hormone, so it's released into the bloodstream and it's swept to a variety of organs around the body, although not to most of the brain. For some reason, uh, there's a, an effective blood-brain barrier for catecholamines such as adrenaline. So when, you, when you're excited and uh, distressed and you say that's from adrenaline effect on your brain, uh, you gotta take into account that it's gotta be more complex than that because there's a blood-brain barrier for, for adrenaline. Most of the brain doesn't ever see adrenaline. And if you measure adrenaline levels in brain tissue or in spinal fluid, uh, you basically you don't see any adrenaline. Now, the parasympathetic nervous system has two parts to it. This is, uh, uh, I'm, what I'm going to be doing is kind of teaching a concept. It's been questioned, and 
but I'm not going to uh, deal with the uh, the issues uh, uh, surrounding this uh, this idea of how the parasympathetic nervous system is organized. The classic the classic teaching is that there are two parts: the cranial part, that means uh, coming from the brain stem, and you remember where the brain stem is. That's the that's the chewy chocolate center and the Tootsie Roll Pop. And, uh, and the sacral part uh, from the bottom of the, the spinal cord, uh, uh, the, the traditional teaching is that there are parasympathetic nerves there too. Uh, the chemical messenger of the parasympathetic nervous system is acetylcholine. So you can see that uh, acetylcholine is a chemical messenger for two parts of the autonomic nervous system, parasympathetic and sympathetic cholinergic system. Uh, this means that if you had, let's just say, an isolated problem with the ability to make catecholamines like adrenaline and norepinephrine, you would still uh, have a parasympathetic, intact parasympathetic function. I'm not getting what that means right now. And you would still be able to sweat because of the uh, intact sympathetic cholinergic system.